Shannon Mayer. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to take a look at Dragon 3 for Daz Studio. It's a very versatile figure. It does function a bit differently than standard humanoid figures. This took me a little while to figure out, but once I came to understand how the deforms and morphs worked a little bit differently, it opened up a whole new world for me in terms of posing and being able to get a little bit more creative with it. So hopefully I can help to make that transition a little bit easier for you. So why don't we take a look at how to first find this on the Daz 3D website. So I'm also going to show you something. It's a very good practice to get started with. Uh, first thing I do is I would go into shop and obviously we're looking for a dragon. You don't always know what the latest dragon is, what's most recent or evolved. So this is a good practice. So first thing we could do is we could just go right into the search menu here and type in dragon. Now, instead of selecting from the menu here, we're just going to leave it simple like that. We're going to get a whole list of all the different products associated. And instead of looking for anything specific, we're going to click on show all. Now, over on the right here, uh, we got new arrivals. I'm simply going to change this filter to most popular. And there's a good chance that more of the newest figures will show up first and sure enough dragon 3 we have the bundle here um, next row down we got dragon 3 this is the primary figure uh, so why don't we why don't we start with that um, now you can see that it's a very nice looking dragon I don't see any major horns on him but we'll take a scroll through uh, the product images Okay, so that looks great, but perhaps we want to find out what else is available. So right here we do have listed this product is in these bundles. So th there's a good chance that it'll show some of the most popular items for Dragon 3. Uh, there's also additional add-ons list down below, but let's go right into the bundle set. Okay, and we scroll down and we'll take a look at what's in the bundle here. So we have the Dez Dragon 3, this is the primary figure we just looked at. Then we do have the Morphs. This looks like it has the horns. Then it looks like there's some pose sets in here and also some textures. So we're going to take a look at what I selected, which was the Dragon 3 primary figure, the Morph bundle, and then also the textures. So let's take a quick glance at the morphs here. Now in this morph bundle we can see that he does have elaborate horns and that's definitely something that I wanted. Uh, so let's just scroll through these pictures and see some of the versatility. So it looks like some very distinct um, facial features as well as the design for the horns. Here's a layout. Here's four of them in a, lo in a row. And it looks like you have a great deal of versatility with that. So that's great. Now let's take a quick look at one of the pose sets here because I do find these very helpful. They're really great to get started with. Um, so I'm just going to scroll through that pretty quickly. It can take a while to set, set up the dragon in general poses, sitting positions, um, prowl poses and uh, attack formations but it's really great to be able to double click get them into the primary position and then begin to manipulate it from there uh, this looks pretty cool the way he's gliding through the air so it does look like a pretty uh, nice quality pose set here and I think we're also just going to finish up looking at his assets by taking a look at the textures here uh, so Dragon 3 textures, um, at a quick glance it looks like green, white, red, and let's just take a quick peek through this set here. Um, actually that's kind of nice, I like the way it gets very uh, brown in the tips of the wings here. A uh, little bit of variety gives it a, a nice sense of realism. Uh, the red is actually pretty cool. I've experimented with most of these, so I was actually pretty pleased with them overall. 
Okay, so let's move over to Dev Studio. And also, in case anybody was wondering and you wanted to make it easier to follow along, uh, my workspace, if you go up to here to a window, scroll down to workspace, and then you can choose select layout. I work with Hollywood Boulevard. It's It's been my favorite for a while now. Um, so that might make it easier to follow along in these tutorials if you want to work with the same layout. Now, let's go into Smart Content, and we can just click on All. And now I'm going to type in Dragon to find some of my assets here. And over here we have the primary figure, um, Daz Dragon 3. We'll double click on that. Uh, click on Figure, and there it is, the actor. So I'm going to double click, and we're going to load that into our scene. Okay, as you can see, it loads it in. It's a very large figure. Now, something to keep in mind with this is if you're working with preset lights, most preset lights are set up for figures, and the figure is a lot smaller. So what I would recommend is you can plop in a figure into the scene, and then you can simply go into parameters, and then scale down your dragon so that it works uh, at a very similar scale ratio to a figure. This way you know that your lights are gonna be set up around the figure and not actually cutting through it. Now, what I meant for adding a figure for scale comparison was adding a humanoid figure like the Genesis 3 um, or Genesis 2 male-female figures. Now, also, I do have a lighting tutorial uh, on my channel so you can check that out and that gives you a good idea for how to get started with presets now the first thing that we want to do is add the horns get his features looking properly before we move into uh, changing the texture or changing the pose on him so this is where I first got confused when I started working with it I was looking for additional attachments because I've, I've worked with other figures that were along these lines and that's how they functioned so when I went looking for them in my catalog of products here, I just couldn't find them. So I thought perhaps it wasn't loading in or I was having another issue, uh, but that's not it at all. So under our scene tab here, let's make sure that we have the Daz Dragon 3 figure highlighted. And then what we wanna do is we wanna go over here, we're in smart content right now, and we wanna click on shaping. Now we, it actually defaults to the actor. Um, now you can get very specific there's a lot of options in here. You'll see some stuff for the rib cage, some of the details, but what I wanna focus on is the head and the horns. So if we click on head here, we'll see a full, full list, and sure enough, we see a bunch of options uh, for the horns. You can experiment with all the other ones, um, but I wanna primarily get started with that. Uh, so that's his chin horns. Um, let's see, jaw large, there's a separate set of horns. Um, let's see, just kind of have to experiment with them and feel them out. And you have various different controls here and you can use them in combination. You can twist the horns and you can get a whole variety of results. It's kind of endless. Um, so I really do enjoy the versatility that you get out of this. And let me just scroll up this last one. because that's one of the primaries. Okay, and there's also twists here, you know, ram horns. You can get a lot of variety, uh, so you can play around and experiment with that. Okay, now I want to move into the posing features because that's also a little bit different than what you may have become accustomed to with the humanoid figures. Um, certainly, there are pre uh, pose presets to start with, but let's take a look at physically... Um, manipulating him and seeing what the differences are. Uh, now, with my standard move tool here, uh, I can simply grab the head and move it. All the other options, you can click on it and you can modify it like that. But there are key places where it starts to get a little bit funky. Uh, the, the arms and everything, they're working just like the standard humanoid figures, but it's really the wings and the tail that becomes a lot more difficult. So just to give you an idea, if I click on this, uh, I can move it back, um, but it starts to get a little kinky. Um, 
and also you often want to move them together so it can get very time consuming trying to do it like this. So let me just click back. Okay, now what it has is it has separate pose controls. So again, Des3 Dragon is selected. We'll click on parameters. Um, now we want to make sure that we have pose control set here. And if we scroll through this, we get a whole list of different pose controls. Everything from toes, fingers, hands, uh, brow, um, his expressions. There's also subcategories here, so you can narrow down those uh, results. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you know that they're here. Uh, there's neck controls. And now, here, let's start with that, the tail, because that's one of the most difficult things to actually control manually. So if manually, see, it starts to get very kinked. Um, and you'll find that sometimes it actually pops a bit if you want to move it manually like this. So these tail controls are actually great. There's one that just says bend, so we can start to curve that up. Um, there's different types of bends, so you'll have to uh, experiment with them a bit. Uh, so you can twist it as well. You can move it from one side to the other, um, make it wrap around and there's lots of controls. Um, I think I just moved into the wings, so why don't we take a quick look at that as well. I'm gonna scroll out, scroll out a bit further here. Um, okay, so here are the wings. You could also narrow it down. Once you know what you're looking for, you just type in wings up here, and that's all it'll list, so why don't we just do that? wings as long as we're in the proper category here. Uh, so it looks like, I don't know, 10, 12 different wing options. And some of these will control both wings together and some will control either left or right. So that's a full flap, uh, wings fold. So you get some different results with that. Zoom in a little bit closer for you. All right, that's a, that's a decent view. Uh, so that's just one side or the other, but right now we want to move both of them together. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the pose presets here um, in our scene tab. Make sure that as Dragon 3 is selected, uh, we're in smart content. Now we can click on poses and to narrow this down, we're also in products. Um, so to narrow this down, let's just type in dragon it's going to give a list of any of the poses that i've picked up under that category and we'll take a look at this one that we looked on the site before it's called cinematic poses for daz dragon 3 and it had some pretty cool poses in there so uh let's take a look at this one just going to double click and get him into a closer position here That looks like a pretty cool one. Pretty dynamic, it looks very natural. So that could definitely be a, a, a nice pose for a starting point. Uh, and certainly uh, quite the variety. Um, here's one of him gliding. So again, these are really great ways to get started once you have a general idea of what you're looking for. Now, let's take a quick glance at also the materials. Uh, let's scroll back to that prior pose. I think it was actually, oops, make sure it's selected. I think it was actually pretty good for taking a look at the, at the materials. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to back this up. We're in Smart Content. Um, we can go to All, just type in Dragon. Uh, we already have that listed in there. And Dragon 3 Textures. And this is great, pretty straightforward. Materials black, gold, green, red. So let's take a quick glance at the red and see what they have. Um, 
Uh, one has uh, markings, uh, material dragon red. So one has sh striped pattern. It's a very nice uh, reptilian pattern on it, and one has it without. So let's take a look at it with the markings. All right, so that's actually very cool, really nice. I was very happy with these results. Um, and you can see the patterning on the side here. So simply, if we clicked on the other one, it would remove that. Uh, oh, that was markings as well, I'm sorry. Uh, material Dragon Red. So that's a standard texture right there. We'll switch over real quick and take a look at the green here. Again, green markings. And these can look very nice in a full render. Um, of course, uh, you want to set up your lights real well. So again, you can take a look at my uh, Daz lighting working with presets. That could be very helpful. I have many more tutorials to come and also I'm going to be doing a lot more product reviews. I think maybe it's a great way to keep you up to date on what's new. So remember to subscribe to my channel here. Until next time, thanks again for joining me.